Yeah. Have our lovely listeners send in some cool questions. Do they really? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, thanks, guys. So I'm just going to fire away. Beautiful. Jan- Janet from El Dorado Hills. Hi, Janet. Tight End University gets bigger and better each year. It What's does. the next step? Ooh, I think this year we're going to do a live concert for all of uh, Tight End U. Uh, we're working on some guests. Um, one of my main guys I'm trying to get is Jelly Roll. Um, he performs at my house party every single year, and he's also just really cool. And all of his music is fantastic. So we're going to try to get Jelly Roll and some other people to perform for us in Nashville this year. Check out for the social media posts on that. Mm-hmm. Tyler from Marin. Hi, Tyler. What is your favorite tattoo, and do you think you'll add any more to your collection? Oh, wow. That's, yeah, that's, a, great t- uh, that's a great question. Um, so it was actually funny. I was talking to somebody on the team about this uh, the other day. And they have like two full, oops, sorry, two full arm sleeves. And I asked him, I was like, when did you get your tattoos? And he was like, uh, when I was like between the ages of 19 and 21, I was like, do you regret any of your tattoos that you made a decision to buy before you were like actually an adult? And he was like, well, I'd probably do a couple different ones. And I sat there and I had to think, and I love all my tattoos. There's none that I would change. Um, So that's big thumbs up, humble brag for me. Ha ha, Aaron Banks. Um, I'm kidding, guys, relax. Uh, I love to, you know, bust people's chops. But uh, my favorite tattoo is probably my Hobbes tattoo on my hand. Um, Calvin and Hobbes is a comic that I, how I learned how to read when I was a kid. And I grew up reading the f- Sunday Funnies, uh, the comics. So that was like my favorite thing. I have all the books. I've read them all multiple, multiple times. Uh, so Calvin Hobbes is my favorite. Uh, that one and my Joker tat are kind of my favorite because that was like the first big one on my forearm. Yeah, I went from having almost no tattoos to Joker piece on the forearm. It was, aggr- it was aggressive, home. but I am adding. I'm trying to do. I'm going to do two full sleeves of my arms and then one of my legs. Is that gradual, or you already kind of know exactly what you're going for? I have a good guy and a bad guy arm. That's uh, that's kind of how the arms are going, and then one of the legs. I'm not entirely sure, but it's probably going to be some type of huge Marvel piece. I like it. I know. I love superheroes and I feel comics. Like that might hurt in the process but it'll look cool. did you see that thing that like justin jefferson and uh, dak prescott did they like they go under for like 10 hours oh i did not know that was an option yeah i didn't i didn't, e- I, didn't I didn't either until i got a dm about it and they're like hey if you we <laughs> know you're a tattoo guy if you're interested um so i don't know but like part of me thinks it's like you have to go through the pain to get it but at the to same time it. like going to sleep and then you wake up with really good tattoos also a fun fact terry from stockton hi terry How did you get the nickname, The People's Tight End? I actually researched this, but I'm sure some people want to know. The Rock. It's not self-proclaimed. The Rock gave me a shout-out in 2019, said those were The People's Tight End. Um, It's one of the coolest things, especially coming from The Rock, being a WWE wrestling fan in general. Um, That was awesome. And so I just have taken that to heart and tried to be The People's Tight End at every opportunity. I think people think you are definitely The People's Tight End. Ronnie from Livermore. Hi, Ronnie. What is your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card? My favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card is a Blue Eyes Toon. Blue Eyes Toon. No, what is it? Blue Eyes Toon White Dragon? Is that how you say it? Blue Eyes Toon Blue Eyes White Dragon. That's what it is. I love Toon World and the Yu-Gi-Oh series. It's a deck uh, that Pegasus uses, the bad guy with the Millennium Eye. Um, but the whole Toon deck is my favorite. Like my Yu-Gi-Oh deck that I still have from when I was a kid is a completely fully out built out Toon deck. I've got like four uh, Toon Blue Eyes White Dragons in it. But that is my favorite card by far. Are these all well-preserved? Very much so. They've been in a plastic bag since I was like 11 years old. That's what, night? Almost 20 years. Yes, but yes. I also, (laughs) I keep a Toon Blue Eyes White Dragon in my wallet everywhere I go. For good luck? Yeah, that and a Dragon Knight are the two I keep in my wallet at all times. We're learning so much about George Kittle on this podcast. Thank you. All right, Charles from Novato. Who is the best Hi, Niners Charles. golfer, and where would you rate your own skills? Well, that's a, that's a really good question. The best golfer on the team. Um, okay. Well, mm, it's tough because some of the best golfers are no longer on the team. So current roster, best golfers, I'd have to say it's either Juice or Dwelly are two of the best golfers. I'm a very I'm a very okay golfer. Best I've ever golfed is an 86. I'm more consistently like 95 to 105. Like that's where I range. Um, but if you need me as a scramble partner, I can I swing really really hard every time, so hard. And I also my driver's a Nike Sasquatch was like 2007, and that thing just ting, just like an old t uh, t ball uh, aluminum baseball bat. That thing just so loud. It's amazing. How 
how is, uh, you said Ross Dwelly is the best golfer. So Ross Dwelly sits before practice sometimes and will watch golf videos, like tutorials. I'm like, dude, Dwelly, what are you doing, man? And like, like, he studies his playbook and all that stuff. So guys don't say anything like that. But when his free time, if he's on the bus or something like that, he's watching golf videos or Call of Duty videos, getting better at Call of Duty. It's amazing. So do you get picked first for your scramble part? Mm. Playing scramble? Are you a favorite in that? Yes, usually, because like as long as you don't need me to win every single hole, like if I don't need to hit a good shot every time, and you say George swing away, like I I can I can drive the hell out of the ball. It's really fun. I'm a good putter too. You're my to put my that on socials. My irons are my irons. I'm getting better at. I finally got a custom set of clubs this past year, so like I'm getting you like I'm finally hitting my own clubs as opposed to used clubs that I've just been kind of heading me down. So uh, I finally went out and on a limb and I bought my own clubs. We got one more, Giovanni from Monterey. Giovanni, what's up? What is your favorite NFL moment of all time? In my career or any any career? It's not specified, so I'm going to go ahead and say any career. Oh, anyone's career. Best NFL moment. Wow. Dun, dun, dun. Hmm. Maybe one you've witnessed. That's crazy. Um, Let's see. I'm trying to think of my favorite plays in NFL history. Um, well, this one was fun for me when I was a kid, my, the very first NFL game I ever went to was, I think it, I want to say it was 2008, maybe. Um, I, we did a weekend where my dad took me and my cousins and one of my, and my, one of my uncles, we drove to, we're living in Iowa. You drove to Wisconsin for Iowa at Wisconsin football game, mm -hmm. Iowa wins and that night we drove straight from Madison, Wisconsin to Chicago. And there was a Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon kickoff, two, noon kickoff, 49ers at Bears, which was pretty sick. And Nathan Vasher had a 108 yard field goal return for a touchdown. The Niners tried to kick one into the wind. He caught it like literally one step out of the, like almost up and out of bounds. And he housed it at halftime. And it was just one of the coolest moments ever because my first NFL game ever. I'm sitting like the 400 section. And it was actually, the cool thing about that too is my seat was next to a former Jets offensive lineman who had like two Super Bowl rings, I think, one or two. And he was wearing it at the game. And I was like- What a game. Yeah, I know. I was like, <laughs> oh my God, this is, this is what football is. This is really cool. And now granted, it was, ever. <laughs> it was so cool. I was, I was very, very lucky. It was really fun. But yeah, that was probably one of my favorite NFL memories. And now your life has come full circle. I know. How about that? And you play for the San Francisco 49ers. How about that? Well, thanks so much for your time. I know it's always a busy NFL schedule, but we love having everybody on the 49ers. You've got mail podcast to have your questions featured on the next episode. Make sure to submit to 49ers.com slash mailbag. Make sure to subscribe to our podcast on Apple Podcasts and Spotify so you can be the first to listen to our latest episodes. That's, that's it from us. That's pretty good by you. I will say I'm going to give my own podcast a shout out. Yeah. Uh, Hidden, Hidden Pearls podcast. You can find us on all those apps as well. And also, you can all we do ask George questions on there. I'll be filming tonight. Uh, we film every Wednesday night. So if you send your questions into Hidden Pearls, I'll answer them.